What we're going to talk about are latch needles and how to properly use them when you are trying to put a loop inside of a um, hollow core, whether it's braid or Dacron or something like that. It's quite simple to do, um, you know, especially with the larger diameter of the hollow core. When you get into the small pound test or whatever, you've got to get into these small needles here. Um, and you can do down to like 60 pound hollow core with this needle. It's difficult, um, it's tedious and whatnot, and, um, but it, it can be done, okay? Anything below 60 pound, I, I would say forget it, okay? All right, so now what you're gonna do to form a loop like this, okay? And that loop splice is 100% of the strength of the line and it's not gonna come apart if it's done right, right? And I'm gonna use this middle needle here, okay? We have the small one for the 60, 80, and 100 pound. This one here for big, larger, and this one here is for very large um, dyneema and things like that. So you're gonna go up the line about six to eight inches, okay? It's nothing critical, it's not exact or anything like that. You'll see, you know, why you're going up that far and and whatnot. You're going to insert this into the hollow core. Just barely go inside, work it so it's inside the core. Okay, see how it's in there? And I'm working it up. Okay, so just push that up, you know, about, you know, the same length as what you started out with here. Push it out the side like that. Now you've got the hook of the latch needle. You're going to grab a couple inches Put the line right in there, make sure the line is tight in there, and then close the latch. Okay, now that's ready to be pulled back through. And out, okay, so now at this point, you just grab this loop here, and if you notice, okay, it, it's going inside, but it's turning the outside inside out see how it's going inside out okay now that's one step okay now here's your loop now you can adjust this loop at this point to whatever size you want if you want it smaller than this all you have to do is just come up here and hold it here pinch it there and you can see it's going in and it's becoming smaller Okay, if you wanted to make it larger, you go back here, open it up, and you could make it larger. All right, now, to finish the knot, or the, uh, the loop splice, you're going to come back up here. All right, you could see how long that tag end is, okay? So you only want to do about the same amount of splicing as you did here, okay? So, and it does, again, doesn't have to be exact, okay? So now you're just going to come back here with your needle, I should say this right here, you're going to go in and you're going to go down like that. Now you do not have to go all the way to that point right there and I'll show you why. All right, so now you grab that end just like we did before. You grab this and you can see it sticking out. All right, so now here's what you got. You got that loop just like there. You want to adjust it so it's perfectly together. So you grab this end and just pull it up a little bit. You come back here, grab this end, and they'll go together perfectly. All right. Okay, now you've got a loop in there, right there. So now what you're gonna do with this is just pull it out a little bit. Just cut that tag end off and you'll see it's gonna go right back inside. And now you've got a perfect spliced loop.